how long I have started bodybuilding. I started bodybuilding uh, during four years ago right now and I trained with Chris during uh, four months. Uh, the training is really different, the diet is really different. Uh, that's what's perfect because I have a perfect content with Psycho. The training is really, really good and my muscle and my, my body has never never feel like this, never look like this. And in three months, I have, for me, I think I have learned during 10 years in France. That's what's perfect. Really. Uh, how long have I been bodybuilding? Uh, just starting recently with Psycho. Uh, you know, I lived my whole life coming from a professional kickboxing background. We did strength training. But, you know, the goal is to be strong, not big. Uh, so really, about a month ago, Chris just, you know, came to gold, started training with Chris. And, uh, Excited for what's to come. Uh, in France, it's really different for the bodybuilding. You know, you have, you don't have this option. You don't have this training. You don't have the same power, the same motivation in France. Uh, I'm here during three months right now. I have a visa for six months, and I really hope to win my next show for for try to make a, a pro visa and to stay here for sure for train with Chris and. All the people, yeah, for sure, Sean, Stan. It's it's my life. The bodybuilding is really my life, and in France, it happened nothing. And for me, it's really better to stay here and to live my life here and to make my goals on points. Uh, so coming from professional Muay Thai kickboxing background, uh, training with you know top guys, UFC fighters, uh, professionals, and in, in every aspect, whether it's MMA, wrestling, kickboxing. Uh, just coming in with that lion, I guess, mentality, getting up every morning, training two, three times a day, uh, getting pushed hard, you know, getting broken in the gym and just continuing to, to just get up every morning and, and do the same shit, you know, day in, day out. I think that mentality is really going to help me contribute over to the bodybuilding side because this beast is, uh, you know, arguably even harder, which is the it's a 24 hour a day job. So just coming from that never give up mentality I think is gonna really push me far in the sport. So, the deal is, Rodrique, we've been prepping him for, how many weeks, Rodrique? Uh, two weeks. We've been prepping for two weeks? Two weeks. No. <laughs> Not how much no. more, how long we've been doing it? Uh, I'm in prep with you during three months right now. Three months, right, three, three months. months. yeah. So now we're coming to the end, it's gonna be 17 weeks all together? Uh, yeah. All right, 17 weeks all together, which is pushing it 15 weeks is optimal, 17 weeks like that. So we started the diet with high fat, high protein, high carbs. Basically, I spun off of what he was doing and integrated my foods into three of those days, left the diet the same he would have for three days, and then we slowly got to my diet. And he gained how many pounds, Rodrigue? Uh, 29 pounds, 29 pounds in one month and a half. 29 pounds yeah. in one month and a half. So, so the diet is really perfect. Huh? Yeah, so we have a slight issue with him, but we're gonna pose him now and he's gonna be flat and watery. I know he's watery because I gave him how much water? Uh, se seven or eight liters of water. Seven, eight yeah, liters two, of water. Two and gallon. we do the matrix system here, we don't do the metric system, it's two <laughs> gallons of water for the real people. Okay. Oh. So anyway. <laughs> So he's up to two gallons of water from a gallon, two gallons. So his body is retaining water. I know that, so you will see him looking watery, but he is very, very hard. So, but he's not gonna be perfect. And the reason I'm, it's called water loading, and I'm doing that because when I take the water back down to a gallon, he'll look really good because his body was used to having two gallons. Okay, strip down. Now, he is still holding water from the protocol, but a lot of this is two gallons of water. We got a water overload and he's flat because he's now he has diarrhea, which I know that is fine. So we're gonna pull the fiber down, almost down to just the vegetables and things should start balancing out once I bring the water down and then he'll look a lot better. But we're kind of cutting it kind of close so I need to fix this right away. So now we're gonna go through some poses and I'm, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for, do I wanna see all the muscles Somewhat. I can't see him all because he's watery, but I will see a lot of them. Back is going to be extremely flat because that's a new back and he doesn't own that back yet. Let's go.
Now that is really good for one meal. One meal today? Yeah, one meal or two meals? One meal. One meal today. And with all the water, we still see all the fibers in the chest. Do you like this one, please? We'll still see all the fibers in here, like that. Okay, hold your hands out here. Next feel. So now. <laughs> now, this bloat right here is from so much water being entered into the GI tract too fast. But I had to do it, I had no choice. So, this will go down once I bring the fiber down. Turn around. Sorry, 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 sorry. Now, what I'm looking for is this. I'm trying to maintain all this back right here, but I'm trying to get rid of this right here. So I'm grabbing here, and I pull it here because I want to see how much the fat travels down into here. Now, he's physique, but I am gauging how much fat it is, because before, yes, I've been doing this before calibers and before the dunk tank, so this is how we would check the body fat. We'd actually pull it, we'd actually pull it. Now, this is gonna be last to come in, and as you see, we have fibers there, so we're really good, but I need a little bit more of this off because this competition gonna be really super lean. So I need this to almost match this. So and this is perfect. This is half of, or two thirds of that. So I'm trying to get this the same as that. Turn around, please. The muscles feel good. Now what I'm feeling for is how much glycogen is in the muscle and how much water is there. Now if, he, if I grab him and he's all mushy, something's missing something. But Roderick doesn't miss meals, so I have to worry about that. Turn. The form here is full. It's full. See the veins? We have veins here. Now you see how thin the skin is right there? That's from, that's why I gave him salmon last night. Cause I wanted the fish oil to go in and the fish oil will thin out the skin. So now the salmon is used to slow the process down to see what we have. Now he should look better in this next posing round. It's gonna get harder every time we pose. Do it again. Now this pose right here, I'm trying to create this line. When I'm looking for this line to be sharper here, judges love that. So I want to see this line right here. And he's showing how small his waist is. Expand. So I'm looking for this line to come in. Go ahead. Now it's competition now. He's already the best he ever been once we do a push-pull, once we pull water and push carbs. But his competition are gonna be small, really, really hard guys. So I need to pull another two pounds off of him and get him a little bit harder. So we changed the diet today. I added in at least three meals of fish, three meals of uh, fish, four, four meals of fish. And I cut down, I dropped the fiber down to only one meal and I took, I did a, what did I do? I did, uh, I brought the carbs down in one meal, right? One meal, but yeah, I brought them down. In one meal, I brought them down. So I took the fiber out and Fi I did, I did fiber. Fiber. I brought fiber the fiber down. down. That's yeah. the carb, but I, I brought it down. Yeah. So we dropped the carbs down and we took the fat down. He took in salmon last night. That will not happen again until after he give me those two pounds. And then I might put the salmon back in for one day and then take it back out. But all of this may change, but that's pretty much where we're on track to. All right, that's it for now.
Time to work, baby. Time to work. Easy, Easy man. Easy. Easy. My way. Go. Come on, that's easy to you, baby. Easy. changing the weight, you could stay in that car. If you couldn't, you got pushed out of the car. And the form was bad, but sometimes I do things for mental aspects, because we have to ele elevate the whole gym. I believe, and whoever I'm training, we have to train harder than anyone in the whole gym. Anybody. So everybody, we have to annihilate that, and I need that emotion, I need that drive for that. Sometimes it's not about form, it's sometimes not about being pretty or squeezing, it's about just getting things done.